today. It has been another wet and windy day here in Melbourne. In fact, there's been quite a lot of rain here lately, which has topped up some badly depleted dams. But the concern of the opposition at both a state and a federal level is that too much of this rainwater is simply flowing out to sea, and they want to do more about that. I caught up with the Shadow Environment Minister, Greg Hunt, here on the banks of the Yarra earlier. Greg Hunt, thanks so much for your time. Look, we're standing here at the Yarra River. There's been quite a lot of rain, more today, uh, here in Melbourne. But I know the, the state Liberals are worried about a lot of this water just flowing out to sea uh, and, and being wasted. Do you share that concern? What can be done about it? Well, absolutely. There's an enormous waste of water which could be captured. 30 billion litres of water in this river, over and above normal flows, has been wasted over the last few weeks. That's water which could have been captured, should have been captured, and could have been done so at a small price. How, how do you capture it? It's very easy. This was water which was in the O'Shaughnessy Dam, which uh, flowed over the top of the dam because there wasn't sufficient, pu uh, sufficient pumping capacity. And it's a problem right around Australia that the, uh, the state Labor governments have failed to invest in replumbing rural Australia. They've failed to invest in updating our dams and our modernisation of our water capture systems. We could save 1,800 billion litres of water in our cities through recycling and stormwater capture for, uh, uh, for industry and agriculture. And we could save 600 to 1,000 billion litres of water in our farms, uh, in our rural communities, through investing in replumbing rural Australia. Isn't this Australia. what the John Howard's uh, big $10 billion investment into taking over the rivers was meant to do as well, put money into some of those areas? That's exactly uh, what the uh, John Howard, Malcolm Turnbull money was meant to do. Um, they did that before the election, and since the election, Senator Wong and Mr Rudd have sat on that money. Only yesterday, the Crane Group reported that uh, the best part of 600 billion litres of water which could be saved every year is being wasted. It's happening here in Melbourne. The answer is simple invest in infrastructure, whether it's in our cities, whether it's something as simple as pumping, that is a far better deal than buying out our farms and our farmers. We need a once in a century replumbing of rural Australia and an urban water recycling and stormwater revolution. There's not a lot of evidence here today of global warming, but I do want to ask you about the, uh, the issue of climate change, which is a big one uh, for the coalition at the moment trying to, uh, trying to work that out. Um, how involved are you in drafting the amendments that will be put to the party room on Sunday? Well, look, I've been uh, very involved all along in the simple proposition of setting out our principles, defining those principles. Uh, I've been engaging with uh, Ian McFarlane, who has the lead on this, and before him with Andrew Robb. My number one concern is to make sure that agriculture is dealt with so as to provide the incentives for 150 million tonnes of CO2 to be captured uh, in our trees, uh, in our soils. In the rest of the world, in America and in Europe, that's what's happening. In Australia, the ALP scheme rules out the single biggest means of capturing carbon in our soils, in our revegetation. There are no incentives for that. Instead, they're literally going to tax livestock emissions, which is shorthand for burping cows. All right, well, it sounds like you've worked out what you'll do on those uh, issues, but one of the big issues, surely, is the electricity generators, whether they are put in the emissions trading scheme or left out. Has there been a decision on that? We are looking at the, uh, at the different approaches. The bottom line here is this, that uh, when you come to Victoria, the generators uh, have said very clearly that they are about to uh, uh, go into a situation that if the legislation is passed, they'll have massive liabilities. Those liabilities will mean that they are in breach of their debt covenants, which means that in some cases they will have reportable duties, which means they're trading insolv uh, under insolvency. Huge issues. What is the answer? The answer is that the Rudd government must sit down with us and with the power generators and release the Morgan Stanley report which says there is a massive issue for the power generators and what is most troubling is not just that it uh, risks the, uh, the supply of energy but it also prevents them from investing in cleaning up uh, their energy supplies and their energy sources. True Energy pulled out of the solar systems project, the biggest solar project in Australia and potentially the world 
because the, the emissions trading scheme took away all their money. But can you, can you really leave them out of the scheme? I mean, what would be the point of an emissions trading scheme without electricity generators, the big polluters being part of it? Well, the, the, the real question here is a very simple one. How do you best reduce emissions from the power sector? Uh, and what we've done is we introduced uh, clean energy legislation when we were in government, a, a, a renewable energy target. We supported and drove that and there are ways to deal with this which Europe and America are, uh, to do this which Europe and America are looking at right now and that is about investing directly in the power sector upgrades and cleaning up the power sector. So our message to the Rudd government is sit down and talk with us about the best way to clean up the power sector. Our fear is that they are focusing on the worst way to clean up the power sector because it won't achieve its goal of reducing emissions and it will simply cause enormous pain for mums and dads uh, and for pensioners who will face a 40 percent increase in their power prices. So as you can see the Liberals still need to make some big decisions on a couple of big policy areas, border protection and climate change and they need to deal with some big differences within their ranks about this as well. So where does this leave the coalition under Malcolm Turnbull ahead of Sunday's party room meeting? I caught up with one of Melbourne's best known columnists, Andrew Bolt from the Herald Sun. Well, Andrew Bolt.